A lot of requests for this one, guys. We have the Sony Xperia XC2 versus the Huawei P20 Pro. And let's go right to it. So this is a full comparison including specs, speakers, camera speed, and a lot more. And going to be a pretty good match for you between the Snapdragon 45 versus the custom Huawei chipset, the Kirin 970. Okay, so Huawei is the first one to boot up and the Sony about one second behind there. Alright guys, so a lot to cover and next is over specs. The Huawei screen is slightly larger, although the Sony screen is a slightly higher resolution. On the front, the Sony is a 5 megapixel camera, and on the Huawei, it's 24. On the back, the Sony is one camera, 19 MP, and on the Huawei, you have three cameras at 40, 20, and 8 MP. And of course, guys, fun and facing camera comparisons later in the video. The Huawei has twice as much storage, although the Sony does have micro SD card support. The Huawei is a much larger battery, 4,000 capacity versus 3,180. And the Sony is a Snapdragon 45 on the Huawei the Kirin 970. Both phones are waterproof. Both phones have used Type-C at the bottom. And unfortunately, no headphone jacks. But they both have pretty nice settings on the back. I'm just going to wipe them down real quick. And on the Huawei, the thing scanner right here on the front. Well, on the Sony, it's right here on the back. Alright guys, so excellent specs on both. And now for the rest of the test. So, everything is closed out on both. And it's going to put the brightness up here on the Huawei. Alright, so next up, apps and games opening versus NBC. Huawei. Spotify. Huawei. YouTube. Sony. eBay. Sony. iFunny. Sony, Amazon, Huawei, yeah pretty good back and forth here. So the base gap's pretty close and we'll write down below which one won that. But next will be at the four games. Okay, so Vantra for Sony. Subway Surfers. Sony. Mario Run. And yeah, the Galaxy did a very good job with the gaming versus the Huawei. And both phones, uh, the Sony and the Galaxy, both the Snapdragon 45 with them. And we'll get Ash 48. And the Sony winning all four of the games. Next up, we'll take a look at Nintendo. And as you guys see a higher score on the Sony, so yeah, pretty similar to the Galaxy score there. And now for test the fingerprint. So once again on the wall, it's right here on the front. And on the Sony, it's right here on the back. And I definitely do prefer the placement on the Huawei. And as you guys see, the wall is also a lot faster. Rock Angels, no copyright. And speed comparison next. Alright guys, so both these phones have dual speakers, or the second one on Huawei is kind of weak, just the earpiece for it. So, first up we have the Sony.
and Huawei. And last time, just a few more seconds. So on board the world, it clearly gets better, but I think it's a bit better quality on Sony. But I definitely know you all being conversation below. And next we have Chrome. And quite not the web history here. Gonna close out, go back in. Alright guys, so four sites. First up is INB.com. Sony. IGN.com. Whew, both pretty fast for the advantage for the Sony. Huawei.com. And yeah, guys, not not sure why Huawei doesn't want to go to its own site, but Vans are for the Sony. Actually, let's wait for that right there to load up. Okay, so Vans are for the Huawei. Sony.com. And Vans for the Sony, so Sony winning 3 to 4. So multitasking next and both these phones, six bytes of RAM with them. NBC. Excellent. <laughs> Spotify. Sony. I know guys, it is really annoying with the Sony doing this. Um, I've seen other speed test channels uh, like put something under the Sony to keep it in place. But it's still kind of funny at least. All right, let's just go like that. Now both these phones do an excellent job here for the multitasking. I mean, they're right for Sony, but really the main thing is that they're not restarting the apps. Excellent. Ready to play. And good to go there. Yeah, so now it's for the Sony, but now we're starting it. Okay, two more and then camera test right after this. Excellent. Next we have camera speed. And right after this guy's fun and repeat camera comparisons. So a band's here for the Huawei. And now we can look at the front 50 cameras. 
And welcome to the Stable Station. And now we've booked the front page cameras. And welcome to the Stable Station. And we'll get the rear face cameras. And test stabilization. And we'll get the maximum zoom. All right, guys. So let me know overall which phone you think won. And I have to say, overall, narrow edge for Sony, but not a huge difference between them. But again, guys, let me know what y'all think. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you next video.